Hey guys and welcome back to Nisha's Corner. So today I'll be making um, Sunday dinner and I'll be making a roasted blueberry chipotle short rib. And yeah, so let's get started. So to season my short rib, I'm going to be using the Keith Loren Grilled Steak and Burger Seasoning. Both sides. Make sure you get both sides with this seasoning. I'm also going to use some cayenne. But I'm going to show you all one side what I'm doing. But y'all get the drift. You know, just keep sprinkling until your brain tells you to stop. Then you're going to put some cayenne. I'm actually going to do these in the oven, but you could do them in your slow cooker or whatever you have. Then you're going to add your salt. I'm not adding a lot of salt because the grilled steak seasoning does have sodium in it. So you're also going to add some chopped fresh garlic all over. And then we're going to marinate these for about, I don't know, a couple hours or even less than that because they're going to get um, basted with the roast berry, roasted blueberry chipotle sauce. Alright guys, so so far down in here I have butter. You can use olive oil, whatever fat you prefer. I prefer butter for this recipe, so that's what I'm using. You can also use beef stock. However, I feel like the beef stock is going to kill my sauce when it's time to glaze the beef. So I'm using water. Don't pour it over it, like pour it down the sides. I'm probably going to use a cup of water. You're going to cover this tightly and put it into a 400 degree oven until nice and tender. Whatever juice it accumulated, we're going to strain it off and then crank the heat up and start basting the ribs. Alright guys, so here we go with side number one. Over there I have some heirloom baby potatoes. So far I have on there some fresh lemon zest. Right here I have butter, melted butter. I have fresh grated parmesan cheese. The one that I'm using is this one, the Sartori Classic Parmesan. Of course you can use the one that, that's available to you. So now you're just going to take your parm, put it down in your butter. You're going to add pepper. Lots of it, you know potatoes eat up a lot of salt and pepper, so you want to make sure you season this. But also watch your salt because parm is very salty, especially fresh grated parm is salty. Alright, so I'm going to mix this up, the butter and parm. Oh, it looks nice and thick. The butter was melted, but the butter was not hot. It wasn't piping hot, and that's what you don't want. Once you melt your butter, let it sit for like two minutes or a minute, so it could cool down some. Because you don't want to completely melt your parm. So then you're going to take it, pour it right over your potatoes. Remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. I'm going to toss this and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, now, first of all, I wish I could smell the lemon zest on these potatoes. Like, seriously. So I'm going to pop this into a 350 degree oven. I have to go low because I don't want to burn the cheese before the potatoes are cooked. But yeah, we're going to move on to side number two. Y'all, this, this potato dish, do not leave out the lemon zest. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So these are my asparagus. This is about a pound of asparagus. Um, usually they come tied up, so I cut the ends off. Not the, like, two inches up I cut off. Wash them. Now I'm going to drop them into some boiling water for no more than five minutes. And I think five minutes is pushing it. Um, once they're nice and bright green, I'm pulling them. And then I'm going to drop them in some ice cold water. Um, then I'm going to show you guys the topping that's going to go on top of the asparagus. Alright guys, so now we're going to make kind of like a Mediterranean salsa to go on top of the asparagus. This looks pretty close to pico de gallo, but it's not. Um, over here I have scallions. I have the lemon. You remember the lemon we zested on the potatoes? So we're going to use the juice. Some tomato and some dill, salt and pepper, that's it. I'm keeping this light and fresh because the potatoes are kind of heavy. The meat, of course, is heavy, so you want to brighten it up. So I'm going to put it all in a bowl and move then on. you're going to add your salt. And you're going to mix this really, really good, like liberally. Mix it because you kind of sort of like want to bruise up your herbs and your tomatoes so it could be nice and luscious. Um, technically, you are supposed to add olive oil to this, but I do not want olive oil in here. So I'm not adding it, but by right you should. I don't like olive oil. I never cook with it on this channel, barely ever. <laughs> I don't like the flavor, the smell. I don't like it. But add your olive oil if you prefer to have that extra fat. 
So I'm going to allow this to sit in the fridge and then when it's time to serve, I'm going to pour it all over the asparagus. Alright guys, so this is my asparagus right here. Now I'm going to tell you guys right now, 5 minutes is absolutely too long. These were only in there for maybe 90 seconds and I'm upset because look at this. It's like limpy. I do not like overcooked asparagus. Yes, they're still nice and green, but they're still overcooked. But um, yeah, 90 seconds. 1 minute to 90 seconds. Pull your asparagus out, add it straight to the ice bath. So now you're going to take the mixture I just talked to you guys about. Then you're going to take your lemon juice, put it right over. I like a lot of lemons, so I'm going to see where I'm at after I taste it. And I might add the whole lemon. That lemon was pretty juicy. Then I'm going to add my pepper down in here. You can add heat to this too if you want, but like I said, I'm keeping it light and fresh. Alright guys, so finally we're back to the beef. So in this little pot here, I have the residual juices that were in the pan with the short ribs. So to that, I'm going to add my roasted blueberry chipotle sauce. This was actually almost 7 bucks. Well, it was 7 bucks and change. I got it from a fish market um, in Galveston, Texas. However, you probably could order this online. I'll link it below. And also, I probably could put a recipe. Because I think I have one. I'm not sure. I think I have a chipotle blueberry recipe. And you're going to pour half the bottle down in here. It's actually a lot. And it's really thick because it's actual real blueberries down in there. As you're going to see it once I get it onto the beef. You're going to mix this up. Adding the juices just gives your sauce, you know, more flavor. That's, that's all it's doing. And plus I didn't want to waste all that yumminess. And I'm just going to baste it. Put it back in the oven, let it tighten up, and when we're done. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to take my sauce and pour it over. I was going to use my brush, but that's going to take too long. <laughs> I'm going to take your sauce. Oh, God, yes. Jesus. Mm. I know y'all see those big, beautiful blueberries on here. By the way, guys, this sauce is not overly sweet. It's not overly sweet. I made sure I tasted it before I even, you know, because, you know, you can make your adjustments. It's actually really savory. It's savory, sweet, tangy, and the blueberries are, like, kind of tart. So it's really, really good. You don't have to do much to it. As you can see, I did nothing. You guys know I'm the queen of zhuzhing up some sauce. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to pop this right back in the oven, let it tighten up, and then I'm going to serve everything up and let you guys see what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is what my Sunday dinner spread looks like. Okay, so these are my ribs right here, my beef ribs. They're so nice and sticky and succulent and delicious. Back here we have the potatoes. I sprinkled on a little bit more palm right at the end. And this is my asparagus with the Mediterranean salsa on top. No, this is not pico de gallo. Huge difference. But if you guys like these recipes, please tag me when you cook them and make um, the recipes. Take pictures and tag me. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to always check my description box. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Yeah, you know, just uh, check one of these here. I'm going into videos. I'll do it though. I'm so tired of mm. you. Bye. You're good. Ha, 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 ha.